In this episode of Successful Streaming, I want to talk about planning your streams and how this can make you more successful. Hello and welcome back to another successful streaming episode. My name is In Wills and I am a content creator and streamer from the United Kingdom. I've been signed up to Twitch since before it was even called Twitch and I've been streaming consistently for a fair few years. Yeah, too many to count. Okay, so before we get into this month's episode, I just need to remind you about what I mean by successful in the title successful streaming. These videos are not about gaining followers or achieving partnership, although what I am going to talk about might actually help you reach those targets if that is what you're aiming for. For me, successful streaming is about growing a community around your streaming, providing value to the people who watch and to keep enjoyable for you as the streamer so that you look forward to sharing your content across the internet. Okay, with that out of the way, let's focus on this month's topic, being prepared and having a plan. There is a well-known saying, fail to plan, plan to fail. I really do believe that this is true. So when I am getting ready to stream, I always complete a streaming plan. Now you might think that this is over the top, but even if you don't write everything down, it would be beneficial for you to go through the steps so that you have things to talk and chat about while you are streaming, especially if you're expecting a possibly low viewer count. So if you do want to plan, then these are the elements of my plan that I use and I'm going to share them with you. Okay, so number one, what will you be streaming and when? I actually plan this at the end of the weekend or the start of the week. It is really important to have a schedule, but more about that in a different video. At the top of my weekly plan, I have the days that I'm going to stream the times and duration and the games that I will be streaming. Currently, I am trying to perfect this to take into account any events or launches in the games I play. But once I have it planned, I share it to the world. Well, perhaps not the whole world, but I do publish it on my Twitch schedule so that my community can see when they can come along and see me streaming. Number two, what I will be doing in the stream. So once I know where and when I will be streaming, I add what the content will be focused on during the streams to the plan. I've already decided the game, so this is when I set myself tasks to do in the game or a list that I can try and complete while streaming. With some of the games, I write or type the tasks that will actually happen each time I stream that game. So these are just copied across. For example, when I'm streaming Elder Scrolls Online, eh, I have reoccurring tasks like complete crafting dailies, check and complete the Endeavor task, and vi visit the furnishing vendor in Cold Harbor. If I'm planning a Minecraft stream, then I like to write down tasks that I want to complete. For example, in my next Minecraft stream, I want to see whether the power that windmills provide does actually increase with height. I can almost guarantee that I will be plummeting to the my death and to the ground several times during that stream. Of course, these tasks might change. For example, the stream might ask me about something or something might happen to take me away from my task, but that is fine. I can always just move these tasks to the next stream. Okay, tip number three, talking topics. I've talked in a previous episode about how important it is to always be talking and chatting when you are streaming. 
even after many years, I still need to talk to myself on stream. I know people are listening, but I never want to be silent. Of course, if I'm really focusing and am in focusing mode, then I am silent and my brow is frowning. In order to ensure I keep talking, I plan topics to talk about. These topics could be related to the game that I'm playing or just about life in general. For example, topics about the game could include new classes, new items, upcoming events or expansions. It could include the state of your own class or other classes, crafting, things you enjoy about the game or things you dislike about the game. Compare it to other games or even talk about a new game that you are looking forward to and when it will be coming out and your expectations about it. Non-related game topics could include anything you want, although try to avoid converse, controversial topics, but general things like the weather, your activities for the day, recent films or TV programs, but remember, no spoilers, new releases in the film or box set department, food or what your pet did that day, what made you smile or laugh. For me, wanting to share positivity, I always try to talk about this, i.e. positivity, and what we should be or could be thankful for during the stream. As well as talking, try to ask for opinions, pose questions and share information. If the topics don't get the viewers typing, then you can move on to another topic or if they're suddenly very engaged, then ride that wave until a natural break occurs. Mix things up and remember to enjoy yourself. Fourth on my list is to think about interactions. How are you going to try and engage with your viewers within the chat? This could initially just be questions and answers from the previous mentioned topics or you could try and go one step further. Twitch, of course, has its predictions and polls feature that you could use to ask questions and chat about. But don't worry if no one answers it. Just answer the question yourself. Try not to be negative and say things like, well, that was pointless, or wow, no one answered. Just continue to talk and move on to the next topic or interaction. You can just ask for a response in the chat. What score would you give to that most epic fail that you've just done? Or marks out of 10? An example of this was when I was trying out the new voice mod voices and the community enjoyed rating them and passing comments about them. I even got to know which ones they hate. I could avoid them now if I wanted to, but that probably depends how evil I'm feeling. Ha 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 ha. Remember, like all the other ideas, if you don't actually use these topics or interactions in your stream, you can always just move them down your plan to be used in your next stream. And finally, number five, what is coming up? So with effective planning, you will have the rest of the week's streams organized. So you can end your stream or announce midstream and talk about what is coming up and when. This can be very supportive for your future streams or any promotions that you have. I like having a section on my plan called Remember To. This is fill, filled with announcements or saying thank you to the viewers or asking how things went. If I remembered that a viewer was doing something special, then I have in this section a reminder to ask them how it went or even how they are feeling if I've known that they've been poorly or sick. The more an active interest you can take in your viewers and community, the better your streams will become. And that's it. Five top 
tips for planning your successful streams. Remember, it's actually up to you how you record this. It could be written down or just thought about mentally. For me, I like to write things down. At my age, I can't really trust my memory at all. Anyway, thanks for listening and watching. And until next time, have fun, stay positive and enjoy your successful streams. Mm -hmm.